Hey everyone. Alright, so I figured for uh, my first new vlog of the new year, I thought, you know, what's the secret to having a popular, highly viewed YouTube video? And I was looking around the site and I thought, you know, I may have found the secret. It seems like a lot of the videos on this site that have some of the most views actually look like this. Yeah, I can't quite figure it out either. Sideways videos actually get a lot of views. I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, if you're going and filming something and you obviously want to upload to YouTube and want people to see it, wouldn't you want people to be able to see what's happening without having to crane their neck and wonder, what the hell am I seeing here? What's going on? That and after doing some more research, I noticed the uh, usual the demographic of people making these videos are like high school kids who are out doing stupid crap like running down the hallway as fast as they can and then plowing headfirst into a door or you know yelling at random cars as they pass by because they think huh this is hilarious and funny so I thought you know what I'm not gonna be like that I don't want to associate be associated with people who use those kind of filming techniques particularly not the sideways thing so that being said we're just gonna put this right back on top of my computer where it belongs right side up. But with that being said, advice to the YouTube video makers out there. Since you obviously want people to see these videos and enjoy them, learn to turn your camera 90 degrees. Ah, that's, that's better. Much, much better. So, yes, welcome to the first uh, vlog of 2010. It is uh, January 6th. Uh, as I mentioned before, I hadn't done these for a while because after I got home from the Halloween weekend tour with the Sweet Translucent Dreams, my computer's monitor had uh, fried and was sparking on the inside, so I thought, that could be dangerous, it's time to get rid of it. I, I hadn't been computerless uh, since that incident, though. I was able to find an old uh, CRT monitor uh, from one of our older computers, and I plugged that in, and, um... It was a huge, bulky thing, so there really wasn't uh, any room on top to put the camera, so it wouldn't have been very conducive to vlogging. But, as I also mentioned in the podcast, I got a new monitor for Christmas, um, and I apologize in advance for any reflections of the monitor in my glasses or any glare in my glasses, but it's, it really can't quite be helped because of... Oh, it's just, just look at this thing. Look at that. That thing is huge! That's what she said. Sorry, couldn't resist. But no, it's a, it's a very nice monitor. Nice and bright and clear. Widescreen. I can actually see things on here when I watch them. I, if there's a scene in a movie or a TV show and the location is dark, I can actually tell who the people are. Unlike on that old monitor, which was basically like stare, may have been staring at a black screen for all I cared which is why I couldn't enjoy the last 20 minutes of 1989's Batman, as I mentioned on a previous episode. Okay, that's enough looking at the monitor, so I will put this back here. Again. <coughs> yeah, I do apologize uh, in advance for this vlog also. If my voice sounds a little off or hard to hear, I'm still dealing with a cough that I've been dealing with for uh, probably close to a month now. I'm... I'm positive it's getting close to breaking, though. I promise. Uh, I'm feeling better than I had felt over the last couple weeks, so there's definitely progress being made. So, um, I won't, do want to have some sort of meaningful content here so people will actually watch and enjoy this vlog. As I said, uh, these are going to be supplement video supplements to uh, the podcast. You know, if thoughts pop into my head as they want to do throughout the course of the week. And it doesn't merit, you know, like a whole segment on the podcast, I'll come on here and mention it. Or, uh, if I don't feel like vlogging, I will actually write a blog on uh, the podcast's blog page. Yes, I know, shocking. Actually using it for a blog as opposed to just show notes and links. I know, I must be out of my mind. Excuse me a second. drinking jar. My computer monitor is huge, my drinking glass is huge. Um, and I'm just going to leave it at that. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, but no, the reason I did come on here is to discuss the fact that we've already gone through one uh, gamut of holidays, which be you know Christmas and New Year's, which come quickly one after another, and already I see stores getting ready for Valentine's Day, having you know their seasonal Valentine's Day merchandise out, you know the cards, uh, Valentine's candies. That's okay. I don't mind that. I mean. It, yeah, Valentine's Day is, you know, about a month and a half away from New Year's, so that's okay, that's not a problem, there's nothing wrong with that. What I do find odd, though, is the store I work at, they've put out some of their Easter merchandise as well. Mostly the Easter candy, you know, jelly beans, marshmallow peeps, and all the other uh, assorted candies from the Just Born Company. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, I like marshmallow peeps, oh... God, do I like marshmallow peeps. But the thing is, I don't know, I think it's, I think that's a bit, uh, a bit sudden for Easter stuff to be out. I mean, I know Easter comes early uh, once again this year. I believe it's, I can't recall if it's late March or early April. All I know is that it's, it's early this year, and I think that's, you know, a little too early to have that. I mean, you could at least maybe wait until Lent starts, then bring out the Easter candy for display because you know, people will be thinking about it then. I know I, I do sort of understand the uh, the mentality and the rationale for doing it like this. I spoke to one of the managers at my store about this uh, a year or so ago, and he said that, honestly, you do have to have the seasonal merchandise out like two months in advance because otherwise you've fallen so far behind. I'm not exactly sure how that works or what the point of it is, but that's uh, that's what he told me, and I thought, well, all right, he obviously knows what he's doing. He's a manager, so I'm not going to argue with him. But yeah, that's that's just my thought. So, like I said, it's uh, January 6th right now. Valentine's stuff is out. That's not a problem. But Easter stuff, I still think that's way too early. What do you think? Definitely feel free to uh, weigh in here with uh, the comments on this video and uh, anywhere else that you'll be able to send feedback to me, either on uh, Facebook or through my email, the email address for the podcast, which will be posted uh, in the description right over to oh, that side, actually. And also, speaking of the podcast, uh, keep an eye out because this weekend, episode 16 is coming. Uh, it will feature some more talk about your favorite segments, like movie sign. Uh, I have an idea of I might want, might be doing a bit of a different turn with the Rock Band DLC segment this week. I'm not sure yet. Got to put together some notes for that. Uh, I'll talk about uh, what I did to ring in the new year. And, of course, as I've been hyping up since Christmas, the exclusive interview with the one and only Linkara from atop the fourth wall. Alright, uh, that'll do it for this vlog. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Come on back again and... Feel free to watch me whenever you want. Actually, um, not exactly whenever you want. That's, that'd be kind of creepy. I mean, you know what, I'm just going to stop right there before I stick my foot in my mouth any further. Alright, later.